Hello viewers once again welcome to functional english class today our topic is on writing there are seven components of writing that is language sentence stru paragraph structure rhythm tone order of information so keep it in mind that there are seven main components of writing i'll tell you now the 10 secrets of successful writing number 1 preparation very important thing number 2 always use a sample means a similar piece of writing three shorter is always better number 4 use concise language number 5 visualize your audience and write to meet their needs 6 do the outline first even if it is one page letter next is write and then rewrite the next step is format which is very very important then comes you read it read it load at the final stage writing final the last step check spelling and grammar very very important spell check and check the grammar a plain english writing style that is a reader friendly writing style is good clear writing that considers the reader's needs and gets the message across easily and quickly it reduces the chances of misunderstanding and confusion good writing results from thoughtful planning actually planning is a very important part of anything and the planning stage take your time identify your purpose receiver's purpose what you want to say and put this in logical sequence then comes editing stage check your work regarding accuracy completeness and then writing stage make sure your tools are words sentences paragraphs and layout work for you language actually you're supposed to use a very simple language so remove unnecessary words avoid glitches overused words and phrases that have lost meaning and the impact use specific language like all vehicle use technical terms carefully like motherboard port pixel use the active voice choose non discriminatory inclusive language male dominated terms use parallel language man and women compared to the man and the women unnecessary words like for example examples means proceeds before you can say goes before or proceeds reverse backward you can just say reverse possible benefit say just benefit repeat again say repeat actual fact just fact the majority of you can use most progress forward just say progress on the occasion of instead when a number of different means various you can use this word i personally simple say i wise words of wisdom that wise words completely eliminate instead of saying that say eliminate and results say 
just results. Then, now I'll give you some examples of writing different types of letters. General business letter, suppose. It has structure, layout, and the style. It's contact person. Yours followed by the receivers. Salutations means welcoming or greetings like dear sir, madam, attention, mister, so and so. Then the opening, state the purpose. As you requested, per your request, I am writing about. Then comes business emails. Again, it has a structure, layout, Subject, use a meaningful keywords. Address it like dear sir or madam or dear so and so, x, y, z, a, b, c. Opening that states the purpose. Like I'm writing to ask about. I'm interested in learning more about. I'm afraid we have a small problem. Now, all business writings. Again, the same. First, the structure, the layout, and the style. Body. Now, give details. With reference to your phone call this morning. This is just an example I'm giving it to you. Use short paragraphs. Long paragraphs are not going to be read. Use blank lines between each paragraph. When making points, number them or mark each point as separate. Now the business emails has a closing. Talk about future actions. Please contact me again if I can be of any assistance or I look forward to hearing from you soon. Then attachments. Like, for example, please find attach the report you requested. Or, sorry, I forgot to attach the file on my previous email. Then the signature. Then general business letters. What is the closing? Talk about future actions. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to discussing these issues further. You have to write yours faithfully, sincerely yours and then signatures on it. Now the simple form or example of emails when you are supposed to refuse. So how you can refuse or say politely no? For example, subject, hi, hello to ABC. What's up? The weather is so nice. I hope your business will prosper. You said I should work on a new project. I cannot do that. I have too much work to do. Anyway, how's your family doing? Reply to me soon. And then write your name. Now, the second option for saying no politely. Straight. Suppose, dear Simon, thank you for considering me for the new project. Unfortunately. My current workload is too high for me to start another project. Again, thank you for your consideration and I hope I'll be able to work with you on another occasion. Best regards, Omar Ali. Now I'll give you a sample for email when giving a meeting notice. Note, when you are giving a meeting notice to everyone. You remember next week's meeting? Everyone must be at the meeting. If you cannot go, let me know. It will be on Monday, November 16th. Time is 1 p.m. Place is the conference room. You have to come and write the name, means or your name, because you are writing the letter to everyone. Another meeting notice example. Dear all. The next PR meeting will be held in the conference room at 13 great hours on Monday, 16th November. Follow-up items from our last meetings are new brochures, annual dinner with customers, sunset. 
If you wish to add any further items to the agenda, please let me know before 8 November. Means you are giving some deadline too. Your sincerely, your name. Now, the example of emails for the employee vacation. Subject is vacation. Saying hi. I'm going on a vacation. But you can still contact ABC person, the one you delegate the authority in your absence. If you want, you can send me emails. I check them when I get back. Cheers. Say Henry. Sample. Another email. Going on a leave. Subject. Out of the office from July 6th to 12th. Hi Sam. I hope everything is well with you. I'm writing to let you know that I'll be out of town on a vacation from July 16th to 12. ABC means the one you delegate the authority in your absence will sit in for me while I'm away. You can find her or him email address on the CC line. If you need to contact me directly, please call me on my cell number this, 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 this. Now another sample and this is the email for congratulations. Subject again, you can write, congratulations. Dear Muhammad, congratulations on the promotion. Good job. Treat me to lunch sometime. Sincerely, ABC. Another congratulations. Subject, congratulations. Dear Umar, congratulations on your promotion. It's a great accomplishment and I'm sure your team will totally benefit from your expertise. Congratulations again and let me treat you to lunch or dinner sometime. Take care. Now the sample is setting up a meeting. Subject meeting. Mention the name, suppose Harry. I heard you wanted to have a meeting. So let's make a schedule this Thursday. Time is up to you, but I prefer morning time. Thank you. And write your name down. Another setting up a meeting example or a sample you can say. Subject again, meeting, write Jane. You are addressing Jane to Jane. Woman told me that you wanted to set up at one hour meeting with me. Would this Thursday 26th work for you? If so, please let me know that time would be convenient for you. I would personally prefer to have the meeting in the morning. But my schedule is quite flexible in the afternoon on that day too. Hope to hear from you soon. Your name. Now, for inquiries, it means business letters. Sample for inquiry. Dear so-and-so, I'm writing to inquire about your office furniture line. We are expanding our office in Karachi and we will need extra desk, chairs, filing cabinets. Could you please send me your catalog with prices, sizes and colors for those items? Your faithfully, Salim. Now, this is the sample of a business letter which is replying to the inquiry. Dear Thank you for your inquiry. I am sending a catalog to you today which shows details of office supplies we offer. You can also see our entire products on our website at w.com. We offer at 5% discount for orders made through our website. Please contact me if you have any questions. Kamran Khan, Sales Executive. Now, here is the letter where you are apologizing. This is an apology letter in this regard. Dear, so I'm writing in this regard to your order for the f office furniture. I regret to inform you that we are unable to deliver the desk on time. This is as a result of problems at our supplier's factory. We had the desk on pages 37 and 38 of our catalog in stock. However, in three different colors, brown, black and white. With regard to the chairs and filing cabinets of the goods before 13 November, as agreed. With apologies, yours sincerely, after sales executive. Now, here is the letter, means where you are accepting an invitation. 
somebody have given you an invitation and you are accepting it. Dear, thank you for your invitation for the forthcoming event. The theme is certainly innovative and groundbreaking and it would be an honor to be a part of this exciting event. Please find my acceptance note enclosed. If any other information is required, do not hesitate to reach me at my office. Thank you again for the invitation, sincerely, and the name. Now, the thank you letter. Dear, thank you for all the assistance you have provided me during our recent project. I appreciate the information and the advice you have given, as well as the knowledge you have shared with me. Your expertise and help have been invaluable during this process. Again, thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate your generosity. Best regards and write your name. Now, in writing, the component, a very important component is proofreading, which has a format in which, like in different formats like Times New Roman, Arial form, double space between paragraphs, or no indentation necessary. Then comes the content. That is the subject. Is it brief and informational? The tone, formal or informal? The greeting, is it appropriate or not? Now the purpose, details and the future actions. The next is accuracy, capitalization. Like Mr. when you're writing, don't write with the small letter M. You can see on the other side, other hand, here in Mr. George visit, wrong. Mr. George visit, M capital. Then the punctuations. Before going to the airport, I will stop by the office. The, what's the problem? You have not given a punctuation. In one go, you're writing it down. The right way is before going to the airport, comma, I stop by the office. Then spelling. Spell names correctly. Articles D A and I will have contract ready by the next week. Now, what is an article in this sentence? D is an article in it. Now the elements of the protocols. I'll repeat the spelling is accurate. The punctuation is correct. Proper use of capitalization is noticeable. The paragraph is sound and the grammar and the usage are handled very well. In the end, very important thing to remember tools. You can use dictionaries, spell check and grammar checks, other resources, tools of professional writers. So yes, today's class is over and inshallah I'll be with you again with another topic in functional English videos. I hope you'll be enjoying this functional English videos. Kindly subscribe my channel Beautiful Lifestyle with Farzan Irfan. Like it, share it and do give commands. Allah Hafiz, Pakistan, Zindabad.